morning. All right. Good morning, grade four. How are you today? Oh, good. How are you doing? How about good? You? Oh, I'm doing good. And I'm happy to see you, grade four. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. All right. Good morning, teacher. Mm, good morning. Who's that? I really need to, you know, open wide the, the pictures here. Still, uh, uh, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Good morning. Are you having a hard time of joining the Zoom? Or, yes. Okay. All right. Anyway, now let's start. Welcome to math class. Read four. So this is the continuation of the lessons that we have last, I mean, yesterday. So to start. I wanted to, James, I know, there's no James. <laughs> Let's have Jason. Jason, please lead the prayer. Everybody, close your eyes and gather your hands and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. Good we morning, are very grateful May. for the gift of life, love, and protection. Please guide us as we start our lesson for today. May your Holy Spirit be with us until the end. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's that Jason? Who, who greeted while, a while ago? <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Uh, oh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet, no. I'm, oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have Marcus also. So good morning, everyone. How are you? You're doing great and happy. So let's be reminded again with our virtual rules. Okay, um, before to start reading, Xavi, I wanted you to practice this one, everyone. I told you yesterday that you really need to sit properly while having our class, right? No one is lying down. No one is having or, you know, idling position. I wanted you to sit properly, okay? Sitting properly helps you to listen very well and focus to the class, okay? Mm. Jason, very good, Sean. Okay. Hello, Precious. Good morning. Hello, Ramnar. Good morning. Okay. So let's, uh, Shavi, please read the virtual class rules. Find a quiet place. Be ready and be on time. Attendance is always set. Keep your video on and look at the camera. Pay attention. Listen. Mm -hmm. Participate. Meet yourself until it is your time to speak. Say no to distractions. Very good. Thank you, Shavi. So it's very clear to you. you every lesson we had, we're going to discuss this one so that you will never forgot, forget. Okay? You'll never forget this one. Okay, so no need for that. So we started about the lesson area. So who can tell me what is area all about again? Okay, Adrian. What's area? Area is square. Oh, yes. I told you when, when you heard about area, it's all about square. So using the square, you may be able to find what? The space, the measurement inside of the shape or outside of the shape? Okay. Um, uh, who wants to answer? Again, my question is, uh, Adrian said, Arius talks about squares. Yes, it's correct. So squares are, I mean, squares are the things that we need to use for us to know the measurement of the space. Is it inside of the shape or outside of the shape? Inside. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. When I get get it on grade four, if I ask question for everybody, you can answer all together. But if I call a name, that's the time that 
that person only turn on the microphone. So I like that, you know, when somebody or other one of you are answering and that's okay with me. All right, anyway, so that's inside of the shape. Very good. You really remember. So yeah, let's move on. So last time we count the squares of each of each shapes because using that we may able to know the measurement, right? And then we can use the grid. This one is the grid, everyone. Grid allows you to know how many squares inside the shape. However, what if we don't we need to find the area of the shape? without the squares or the grid what if who can tell me grade four what if there's no grid or squares in our shape or um, in our figure okay i will call a name okay i will call a name mm. sophia Hi, Sophia. Good morning. What if, Sophia, there's no squares or grid in our shape or figure? How can you know? How can you measure the area? You need to find the area. Yes, of course. You need to find the area. But what are the things you need to have for you to solve the area? We need to look two things, right? Sophia, what are those? Hmm, what is that? You're saying something, Sophia, but I can't hear you. Can you chat? What's your answer? Okay, everyone, Sophia is still on. She's still answering, so... Yes, what are the two things? The length and the width. Yes, very good. This one, look. We have our length and what is this? What's this? Width. 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 Very length. good. So this part, the long part of the shape is the length. And this one is the width. Okay, remember that one. Because today, we're going to solve some of the measurements of the shapes. Are you ready? Okay. Oh. All right. So, let's try the area of rectangle. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try the area of the rectangle? Look at the formula. For the area of rectangle, grade 4, we have length times width. It means we need to multiply the two. Let's just try. Very easy. Okay, Haro. Thank you, Haro. Hiro, are you talking? 24, teacher. 24. 24 of what? 24 of? 8 times 3. Uh-uh. Oh, look. Everybody look. I will annotate half. So, the length is how many? It's 8. 8. Very good. And for the width, we have? Three. Three. Yes, eight centimeters. I mean, three centimeters. So we substitute to our formula. This one. This. Can you see? Yes. What's the formula? It's length times length. width. Very length. good. So you just need to substitute. So for the length, we have eight meter. And then for the width, we have three meters okay everybody this is the tricky one 
because your unit will never be the same. Okay, hello, Jillian. Good morning. It's not just a meter or meters, but it is. Don't forget the square, okay? Square meters or 20 meter squared. Understand? Because area, it talks about square, right? So your unit also must be squared. Squared. Okay? With D. Sorry for that. D. Squared. Okay? So please read. How, how do we read this one? M raised to the power of 2. How do you read that? M um, centimeters. Um. How, how is it, Israel? M? M? Or M squared. What is M? Don't read the letter meter. alone. Meters. Very meter. good. Meter, meter squared or squared meters. Pwede mabaliktad, okay? Grade 4. Sige. Now, let's try this one. This one. Your width is 20 meters. Oh, you see, very big. <laughs> and then you have your 32 meters for your length. Length is 32. Everybody, I want you to solve. Only you need uh, the, the way for us to get the area of rectangle is to multiply the length and the width. Okay, everybody. Isabella, try to solve. Where's your paper and pen? Okay, solve. Sophia, Marcus, and Precious, are you holding your pa paper and pen? It's um, 600. Oh, yes, uh, it's fine. Anything Precious? Okay, wait lang. I wasn't using any paper footage. I was writing it on words. Ready? Ready? Show me your answers. Kids, Re Richie, Jillian, Renmore. Can I go to the bathroom? Isabella, okay. 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 And the fourth teacher. Uh, show me, show me. Show me your answers. Um, the chat na nako teacher ako answer. Sige, okay. How about the others? Sean, show me your answer, Sean. Hara. Okay, we have Abba. Your answer, Abba, is? 672. 672. How about Hara? Oh, wala pa. Jason, how about you? Precious, precious. You're showing your answer. What's that? 60. 64. 64 only? Ano po? 600. 644. Okay. 640 for Jason. Precious also? Yeah. How about Marcos? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Marcos, what's your answer? 640. 640. How about Adara? Your answer is? 640. Okay, very good. How about... Shavi, hmm, you said a while ago 640, right? Shabby? Yes, yes. okay. How about how about Keys? How about Richie? Jillian? Sophia? Na chat na po na Ay, na chat na. Saan ba yung chat? 
Ah, okay. You're you're sending your answers here. Oh, most of you have six hundred forty. Okay, now this is the trick. I can't accept your answer if six hundred forty alone. Oh, Sean, Sean wrote squared meters, and that's correct. Okay. Yes, don't forget the unit grade four. Though your number is correct, 640. Nine. Yes, but your unit is very important. Meter squared. You can write like this. M raised to the power of two. Two, that's the exponent. Okay, two. M squared. Okay, like this. I have a whiteboard here. I hope you can you can see this one like this everyone oh but can't see this one can you see m yes this m. one this is squared okay squared m meter squared or squared meters that's fine okay all right now let's have more activities Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Another one. All right. Now let's have. <clears throat> sorry. Let's have the, <laughs> the second. This is the second figure. This is still a rectangle. Yeah. We have. Um, uh, who can tell me the length of this figure? The length of the figure is seven. Seven. seven inches. Yes, very seven good, inches. Adrian. Inches. Oh. Seven inches, and the width is five, five inches. Five inches. Five inches. Now I want you to solve the area of this figure. Oh, you need to multiply. Okay, I will just count. Five, four, three, two, one. What's the answer? 35. 35. Ah, yay. 35, 35 inches. 35, 35, 35 inches. meters square. 35 yes, meters square. Yes, very good. 35 inches squared. It means that there are 35 squares inside that shape all right very nice right very easy very very easy <laughs> okay anyway children um if you wanted to copy this one you can you can screenshot okay so that you will have your activities later let's move on to the other shape okay do you know how to screenshot or snap you can screen screen Yes, you can do that, everyone. Window uh, print screen. Uh, uh, yes, you can do that. Ready? Or you can take a picture. That's fine. Ready? You can also do it in, you can view options and there's annotate and you can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, who, is, who is talking, by the way? I'm teacher. Uh, he, he, he really, uh, she really, or what's that? Is that a girl? Who's that? Who's talking? <laughs> is it Xavi? Hey, Isabella, uh, hi, Isabella. Oh, Isabella and Xavi are very good at Zoom. That's very nice, huh? Yeah, you can you can uh, turn on your annotate and you can click the save one and then you will take that one, okay? All right, let's move on. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we will have our square. And this is very easy. Why? Because you only need to multiply that by itself. Not by two, okay? Not by two, by, but by itself. So, for example, we have four centimeters here. So, our formula is like side times side. So, the sides is four centimeters. So, four centimeters 
times 4 centimeters is equal to 16. Now, why is it the other side is 4 centimeters? Grade 4, a square, I, what's that? <laughs> Grade 4, a square have the same or equal sides. Okay? Equal, the same, pareho. Okay? Pareho lang yung sides, the measurement of its sides. Okay? Since it's a square, you only need to multiply it once by itself. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Don't forget, your centimeter will not just the same, but you need to put 2 at the top and you called it a centimeter squared with D or square centimeters. Okay? Now, let's try. Let's try this one. Seven centimeters. Ready? Five, four, three. Everyone, huh? Sabay, sabay. Five, four, three, two, one. What's the answer? Forty-nine. Forty-nine centimeters. <laughs> Again, Forty-nine. But... Centimeter. <laughs> 49. Centimeter what? Centimeter? Uh, 49 centimeter square. square. Centimeter yes, square. very good. Okay, we're good. Next. Because time is running. Um, oh, this one. Please take a look of this and have a snip or a screenshot so that you will have your um, exercises after our class. Okay? One, two, three. Ting, ting. Ting, ting. Ting, ting. And next. Okay. So this time, grade four, we There's will have... There's number two there. Hmm? A number two. Yes. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Again. Again. <laughs> uh. No, there's no two anymore. Go. Okay. Next. The area of? What is this? What's this, everyone? Oh. Hello, hello Nicole? Hi, Nicole. What is this? Grade four? Triangle. Yes. So this time we are going to... Find the area of a triangle. Now, how to do that? First, you need to look for the base. Where's the base here? This is the base. Okay. This is the base. Can you see? Yes. Yes, of course. And then, this is the height. Very good. Okay. Height, base. And then after that, you just need to multiply the two and then divide it by two. You divide the answer by two. So for example, we have the four centimeters for the base multiply by nine centimeters. That is 36 centimeters. Don't forget, squared, okay? 36 centimeters squared. And then divided by 2, your answer is 18 centimeter squared. Huh? So the operation we need here in the triangle is two or two operations. We have multiplication and division. Okay? Let's try. Very easy. Now let's try this one. This triangle. First, I want you to look for the base. What's the base here? Um, the base six, is? Six, 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 six meters. Six meters. Oh, hello, Nicole. Good morning. Six meters. Yes. And then how about the height? 14, 14 meters. 14 meters. 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 Very good. So? After that, you multiply the two. Go. 14 84. times. 84. Your answer is? 84. And then you divide it by two. Two. 42. Your answer is? 42. 42 oh. what? 
40 to 40 square centimeters. Mm. Centimeters? Mm. Meter. Meter. Square. Yeah. <laughs> meter square? Yes, meters squared or square meters. You find it hard or easy? Easy gamay. Ah, easy, easy gamay. <laughs> hard a little. A hard a little. Why? Why is it hard? Because we need to multiply. It's, it's just uh, this is this is the thing that you really need to practice, by the way. It's a multiplication. So you really need to practice multiplying. Okay? Don't don't use your calculator. Who are using calculator there? No. No one? Very good. Don't uh, always use that. Whenever we have our discussion, I really wanted you to multiply by hand or by your using your mind. How do you do that? By mind? Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, if you really memorize the multiplication table, do you? Are you? Not yet. Oh my gosh. Maybe next time I will ask some of you and then remember, recite. The um, multiplication sure table. Ano? Ano yun sabi? Ano gagamit ng calculator teach? Hindi ka gumagamit? Yes po. Pero yeah. meron nang pong iba teach. Oh, so I I don't know. I because I can't see you what you are doing during our classes, but I really trusted you. Hmm. So, I trust you that you're not using those. You really need to, um, yeah, practice solving, okay? Okay na tayo, grade 4. Okay. Now, since this is somehow tricky, everyone, let's have time to practice answering this today, okay? The area of triangle. Okay. Because you only... Because you need to multiply then after divide. Okay? Let's try this. Who wants to try the first one? YD, what's that? No, what's YD? No. Hmm? Who knows? I don't. Okay, this uh, says YD is this one. Not. Who said that? Five. Who said that? Years. Abo. Abo. Very good. It's a year. Good job. What yard? Oh my gosh. Who said that? Oh my gosh. This is so loud. <laughs> yard. Why the yard? <laughs> oh, why the... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I will erase. Sure, your voice is low. Oh, really? Really? How about this? There's five more. minutes left. Yeah. A bit more, sir. Okay, now let's try to answer this one. What's the base? What's the base? The E. Hmm? It's 8 yard. 8 yard. 8 yard. This is the base, yes, 8 yard. And then the length is this one. At the height, eight I mean. D. 8 yard everyone yard yard, yard, yard. Like, like where you hmm? like, like where you plant I don't know Isabella okay let's multiply 8 times 8 is 8 times 8 is 21 61 61 61 2 hmm? Sixty-four yard. Sixty-four yard. Sixty-four. Yes, yard square. And then divided by two. So sixty-four divided by two is thirty. Two. Thirty-two divided by two. Hmm. So the answer is thirty-two yard square. Squared. Okay. Square. 
Yes, next. Second figure. This one. Ooh, tricky, right? Because it's really a triangle. A triangle. Yeah. Why did it do inside, not outside? Oh. Because this is the height. Inside. Because here, look okay. at here. Because if I will put another triangle here, it looks like this. So the height is here at the center. Check. Okay. Check. Okay. Yeah, where's the height? The height the is five feet. Hmm? The six. The six. Eight. Five. 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 And then Five. now look. Huh? The base. Four feet. Six. six. Who said six? I yeah, I thought four. You said four, Isabella. Why four, Sean? What's your answer, Sean? No, it was, I thought it was four. I thought it said four. Shavi, mm. what's the base? The five. Five? In, in feet. This five is the height. Six oh, is so the, the, the base. How about the base? I'm looking it's at the base. Feet. Are you sure it's a six feet? No, it's six. Six. Mm -hmm. six. six. Okay, so everyone, look. The measurement First. looks like this. This is six feet. Oh, yeah, I'm correct. Right? This is a six feet. However... Okay, this is your triangle, everyone. So, this six feet divided by two, and you will get your base for your triangle. Oh, teacher, that is so, so hard. No, it's not hard. You only need to understand it very well. Okay, this is your triangle, Leo. Eh? This is your triangle. And then the measurement. That is given a six feet, the whole, the two triangle. Okay? So you need to divide. Less than one two. minute, my teacher. We're almost done. So anyway, we will go Goodbye. back this one, this one. Five times six is 13 feet. Okay? Tomorrow, let's go. About to end. Yeah. The answer is 15 feet square. <laughs> okay, we will check that one tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye bye, teacher. This we'll uh, yes, tomorrow, po. Bye bye. We'll check that one tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. It's not. Ah, delete na. Okay, bye, teacher. This uh, bye, bye, teacher. This this See you. I forgot how to pronounce your name. This this this. You can call me okay, bye, teacher. Bye. This. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye, teacher. Bye -bye.